Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and this review is for Dog Days. Dog Days is a 2018 film. It's rated PG, runs an hour and 53 minutes, and it stars Nina Dobrev, Vanessa Hudgens, Finn Wolfhard, and a bunch of other people. You'll notice most of them, or you'll know most of them. Dog Days follows a group of interconnected people in Los Angeles who are brought together by their lovable canine counterparts. That's pretty much the story, the stars, and the information. Honestly, I just really like this movie. Um, it's very easy to just watch and enjoy, and it is up there with uh, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day and all these other movies that have had huge casts and different stories that all end up kind of interacting together towards the end. Uh, characters that end up being connected, but it doesn't seem like it in the beginning because they have their each own different stories. And most of the time, I'd say these movies are a success. Uh, for a while there, we were getting a bunch of them. You know, like Valentine's Day, like New Year's Eve, like Mother's Day. And it just kind of kept coming. And people enjoyed them, but it seemed like we were getting too many. So it's been a while. And so I thought it was a good time to do a movie with this uh, strategy. And with all the people involved, uh, it ended up being a pretty big hit. So I think the main point of this movie is if it makes you feel good and if it makes you laugh. And it did both of those things for me. I was laughing more than I thought I ever would. There's this one scene where uh, the main guy is telling this box with a dog inside that the box enclosed better shut its face. And I just broke. As soon as I heard that, as soon as I saw that, I it was... It got me. I, I I'm surprised I didn't actually laugh out loud in the theater. It was, I, I could I was crying. It was so funny. So, the main points of this movie are that the kids actors and the older people actors and the lessons come across very strong, and I think that is a great way to base a movie. You need to be able to have a founding, you know reason why you're making it and I think they just thought this would be really a lot of fun and the way that came across was the genuineness that the actors kind of had they were able to be themselves they were able to talk normal they didn't have to act like a crazy person they didn't really have characters they had things to say but it felt like those were flexible with the way they can make it emotional um, I would say one thing that people could kind of say against this movie is that it is very predictable in certain facets, the ending being one of those. Um, but I still cried at it. It's still a great ending. It's still a nice way to handle things. And like I said, this older man that's involved with the ending he is able to be himself and he handles the situation in such a nice, genuine, emotional way that you forget that it's a scripted ending and it's predictable and it's supposed to be really bad. Because that's what happens with most movies. People are like, you know, oh, I'm going to do this thing. You saw it coming. Let's go off with, the, off with the movie. But this movie handles it completely differently. And the way it's written and the way it flows and the way it's funny and the way it's emotional, none of the stuff that's predictable really matters because even if you saw it coming, you can still enjoy it. You can still kind of talk about it, you know, um, you know, like, oh, I was waiting for that to happen or something, but they don't do it right when you think it's going to happen. So it's good. It's a movie. Those kind of things can be talked about. I understand. So the other part of this movie, obviously, is the dogs. And I thought most of them were very well 
handled. Um, you might have been a little bit patient as a movie maker for some of the shots to happen naturally. But most of this movie felt like it happened in a natural course. And I appreciated that uh, very much because with so many people involved, there were a lot of cut scenes. There were a lot of blackouts, go to another idea, another thought, you know, another story. And so for the flow to be there, I appreciated that. But with all the animals involved, it still felt like most of the things that were happening were the first attempt. And they might have tried they might have tried it 20 times, but you can never tell. So I thought that was good. Um, they used the animals very well. I thought, you know, Sam was good. I thought Brandy was good. Uh, you know, the faces that they make, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. And, and I mean, for it to involve them and not be just about them, I thought all was handled correctly. So the only thing I have wanted to mention was that some people I know have been wondering what people like Vanessa Hudgens have been doing and what the guy who runs the animal shelter have been doing. Um, we haven't seen some of these people in a while that are in this movie. And uh, like the guy that's the husband of the family who just had twins, he's been in a lot of things. But, um, you know, some of these people have not been in so many projects. I think this was a really good movie for everybody involved. I think the friend at, of Vanessa Hudgens, who ends up with this kind of jerk doctor, um, she hasn't been involved in too many things that I know of. So everybody involved, I thought this was a great movie for them. I think this will help some people's careers. It's totally going to be a hit um, for family, for kids. I think everybody in my theater really kind of enjoyed it. There are a couple of older people. There are a couple of younger kids. It's great. I think it was great. So I'm going to give Dog Days an A. I thought it was very appropriate of an enjoyable movie. And we haven't had too many of those lately. We've had a lot of interesting movies. We've had a lot of superhero movies. But we need more movies like this. And it's just well-roundedly good feeling fun. And I think everybody needs that every once in a while just to go to a movie and have fun and not be so critical about it and not think too much and just enjoy it. So that's totally what this movie is. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or my other videos, go and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy dog days and enjoy movies. Thanks, guys.